Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, twins are hella sick. Hell whacking it. Take a bad hit. Take a bad hit. Chow down on those bottomless fries. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars 16 inch black series action figure review on the Star Wars The Force Awakens X Wing Pilot Asty. Yes, if you're really nasty in the butt, you're not nasty anymore. You're Asty. Anyway, big thanks to you for helping me make this review possible. Really appreciate you looking out, man. Uh, on the package over here, you can see this guy kind of reminds me of Sebulba a little bit, right? Maybe the same species? Probably not, though. Anyway, on this side right here, it says X Wing Pilot Asty. And then on the Back. You can see there's a read up on Asti. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And you can see he's number 14. All right, let's get to it and crack this Asti open. I am actually quite impressed with this figure. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I really like all the details involved with this. There's a lot of little details as far as the paint and sculpt goes with this guy. He has some pretty good articulation and he has his one gun. You know, he doesn't have too many accessories, but he has this cool removable helmet over here, which looks really nice on that weird shaped head. I really like what they did here with the X Wing fighter pilot helmet. It looks really nice. A lot of clean deco on it. I really like this a lot. You have the rebellion shield right over there. Really cool. I like all the writing and everything. I think the paint came out really clean. So I'm digging that a lot. Very, very nice. Yeah, very impressed. I like the transparent yellow that we're getting right over here. That looks really good. Then you can take this off, and it's made out of a soft, pliable material, so it's not difficult taking this on and putting it back on. But looking at that ugly mug, ooh, man, you ugly. Ah, but that detail, that just looks so awesome. I love the color variation right there. The eyes look really good. That is just beautiful. That looks like something out of Jim Henson's workshop or something like that. I don't know. I just really dig it a lot. That is cool. All those wrinkles and everything. A lot of nice sculpted work on that. That is just beautiful. I mean, it's ugly, but it's beautiful. You know what I mean. Anyway, looking at the rest of his X-Wing fighter pilot gear. Nice textured detail throughout. I like that. We're not getting too many flat spots. I would have appreciated some black paint, you know, to give us some shadowing effect or something like that. But it's still detailed out very nicely. And then looking, I guess, his breathing apparatus thingy. And then he's got a little pouch right there. And then here's his blaster, and it's made out of this nice copper color. I like it. I think it looks really good. Nice silver paint right over there, too, and it has some black mixed into it, so it's not very flat looking. Very nice looking gun. And it fits into his right hand okay. Uh, the left hand is kind of weird. I don't know. It has this weird shape over here, but, you know, the gloves are textured out nicely and everything. I don't know. You can still get him to hold it, I think. Yeah, you can get him to hold it, but he doesn't have a trigger finger like this side does. This one has a trigger finger ready to go. Looking on the back, looks pretty good. Looking at the belt over here and the straps and everything. Nice silver paint apps. Like I said, man, a lot of details in this. Even this holster right here has some nice dry brushing on it. I really dig that. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm digging it, man. The boots look pretty good, too. And he does have treads at the bottom of his feet along with peg holes. So like I said, I do like the articulation on this figure. You can move his head back a reasonable amount. He has this neck flap right over here. So you just got to flip that over the collar of his flight suit. And you can look up that much. And you can do the same with the helmet on. You can see his neck underneath right there. You can move his head down that much. And you get side to side movement. And a uh, tiny little bit of head pivot. Too. Yeah, a tiny little bit of head pivot over there. There's kind of some gapage right over here at the shoulder joints, but it allows the shoulders to move outward that much. You can rotate them forward. You do get a night. Nah, it's not even really 90 degrees. What's with the double jointed elbows, man? Bring that back, Hasbro. Jeez, what's wrong with you? Anyway, you get rotation at the elbows as well. Rotation at the wrist, and it hinges up and down. Same deal on this side over here. He kind of has a weak diaphragm joint. That's the weakest point of articulation for this guy. It does rotate side to side over here, and I like these flexible tubes. That works out very nicely. No real pivot and no real crunching. I mean, it shifts forward a little bit and it shifts back just a little bit, but that is just all the movement you really get. Anyway, there's no waist swivel on this guy. He doesn't really need it. Uh, he does have hip joints that move outward that much. He can kick forward that far, moves back some. You get upper thigh swivel, get double jointed knees, and then the ankles move down that much. They move up some, and he does have ankle pivot. See over here, he's standing just a little over six inches tall. And then here's Atsy next to a couple other X-Wing fighter pilots. We have Poe Dameron and Luke Skywalker. And then here's Atsy next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Okay, I just want to try something out really quick. 
Hey, perfect fit! So this isn't necessarily a figure that I'm gonna tell people that they should really get it right now, you know, this is not a must-get. I believe he was just in the movie for a very, very short period of time and killed off rather quickly. I think he lasted a little bit longer than Constable Zubio, and like the Constable Zubio, I actually really like this figure, so it is very well made. I don't know, I just wanted to try giving him a dynamic pose for a second. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you want to support this YouTube channel, please check out the Patreon account. I have a bunch of giveaways set aside for my patrons, so check the link below. Also, if you want to see channel updates, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want some geek news and photo galleries for my reviews, go to shardimusprime.net. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. That's we have the Poe Dam.